Awlul oh, Bid'a. No, it is not a bid'a. As we said earlier, celebrating things in Islam is is lawful. The question is what you're celebrating and how you're celebrating. Not a single jurist in all of Islamic history ever said that it is unlawful to have a celebration. The only question is what are you celebrating and how are you celebrating it? Can I celebrate a Quran recitation? Like for someone memorized the whole Quran or or completed the recitation of the whole Quran, can I have a celebration for that? Of course I can. Celebrating things is always lawful. If the thing is lawful that's being celebrated and the method of celebration is lawful and it may be even rewarded. Celebrating the completion of the Quran by inviting the poor and everybody else and giving them food. That's wonderful. You get rewarded for that. The, the celebration itself is not rewardable, but the way in which you do it, you get rewarded for the charity. Okay? Is there anything greater than the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? We wouldn't even have this religion to talk about if it wasn't for the Prophet, peace be upon him. Okay? That's exactly how we do things. Sent you a post from Saudi News. Uh, it's a statement from a Sudais, basically where he says, celebrating National Day uh, as an embodiment of like patriotism. Mm -hmm. Like just to like summarize, it was in Arabic, but, and he was saying it's like a religious, or it's a, it's a duty and a demand for us to celebrate the, the day of, uh, uh, you know, Saudi's independence yeah. or whatever. Saudi independence is a, a, a duty, a duty to celebrate the country, celebrate the land, rally everybody up, says Sudais, it's a duty. But what about celebrating being a Muslim, celebrating that the Prophet is your messenger?